Okay, boys and girls, parents, guardians, welcome back to another math video series. Today we're going to talk about problem solving. How do you solve these challenging, difficult word problems that Mr. Andrews gives you for homework? All right, well, we got a four step strategy. And what you have to do when you see these word problems is you have to, you have to be rude. You have to be rude? What am I talking about? Yeah. I'm telling you to be rude. Now, I'm big on respect, but when it comes to word problems, you have to be vicious. You have to attack it. So be rude. R-U-D-E. Read, underline, draw a model, and write an equation. And as you can see, I've already gotten started, and you're getting a preview of Thursday night, Thursday's night's homework. So if you um, check this video out in time, You'll have an idea of how to set up your problems for tomorrow. Now, we like to just get to it and solve problems, but we have to send, spend time and actually read it so we can understand what's happening. So I'm going to do a couple of examples. Please watch. Rewind this video. Watch it many times so that you have the idea and you have the process down. Because when I see your work, I want to see all four steps carried out. Now, I won't be able to see the reading part, but I'll see it. And how you drew your model, how you underlined the important words, and how you solved it. Okay, so number one, this month, Jane saved six times as much money as she did last month. If she saved $42 this month, how much did she save last month? Well, when I see this, uh, I'm thinking about what, what are they asking me to do here? Okay. I know she saved, Jane saved some money this month, and she saved some money last month. Now it says this month, Jane saved six times as much as last. So when I draw this model, I'm going to use these little bars, and I'm going to try to draw them the same size. And I'm going to draw six of them, which represents the six times as much. So if it said five times as much, I would write, I would draw six of them. And for last month, I'm going to represent one bar, or one bar that's the same size as this bar. So the comparison is, this month, she saved six times as much as last month. So there's six bars to the one bar. Now, did it say how much she saved this month? Yes, she saved $42 this month. So that means the total quantity of all of these bars is 42. So I'm going to draw a little bracket. I'm going to write 42. $42. They want to know how much did she save last month. So I need to know what the value of one of these squares is equal to. Well, I know six of these squares is equal to 42. So I'm thinking to myself, okay, this is division because I'm looking for the smaller amount. I have the total amount, so I write that as 42 divided by, well, there's six parts. So I divide it into six, and that equals the amount of money she saved last month, so I'll write L for last month. Or I could rewrite it, and let's not make that, let's make this, uh... Let's make this a question mark. I don't want to use that. Okay. Or can we write it as what times 6 equals 42? So with division, you can write the inverse. This is called the inverse opera, uh, equation. What times 6 equals 42? Well, I know my basic facts. I know that 7 times 6 is 42. So I would write my answer here. All right, and when I write my answer, I write it in a complete sentence. So I would write, uh, Jane saved $7 last month. Okay, and I would write that in a complete sentence. If I didn't know this, okay, I can use an array. So I know 6 times what equals 42. Well, I know I can do 6 times 5, 
that's 30 and 6 times 2 more is 12 there's my 42 well how many groups of 6 that's equal to 7 so I can break this array into parts and we call that splitting so that's a strategy alright so that's one way to set up your word problem so when you do the other word problems okay sometimes there might be more than one step let's check this one out Sam picked seven apples Lucy picked six times as many apples as Sam how many apples did Lucy pick how many apples did Lucy and Sam pick all together now when I hear the word all together I know I'm gonna do some addition but first let's go back alright I underline as I read let's draw the model I have Sam I have Lucy Sam picked seven apples so I can draw a bar and write seven alright I know these are apples Lucy picked six times as many so that means she's got, she, I have to represent this by using six bars of equal size because when you're multiplying or dividing, you're working with equal groups. And I know, well, wait, that's six times as many. Well, all these bars are equal to seven. And they wanted to know how many apples did Lucy pick? Well, my equation for Lucy, L equals 7 times 6. So I can solve that. And then they want to know how many apples did Lucy and Sam pick all together. So my second, so this is step one. Step two, well, once I find this answer, I have to add this plus Sam. So that will be 7 Plus the answer I get up here, and I'll find my my second answer. So when I write my answers here, I have to do I have to have two answers here. So I have to say Lucy picked blank mini apples, and then my second answer would be Lucy and Sam picked blank mini apples all together. So I didn't fill everything out because obviously this will be. Thursday's night's homework, so I kind of set you up. And there's one more problem on the back. So this one, try to do this one without my help. But if you look at the models and the examples that I did here, you should have no problem. So check out more of my videos. And coming soon, there will be a problem of the week contest. So stay tuned for that. We're going to be doing those once a week. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave comments or email me at candrewsandredlearn.org. All right. Have a good night. Take care.